Okay, this video is going to go over the transition from a short-run equilibrium to a long-run equilibrium. A really important concept that hopefully you can grasp in this video. And it's also in, involved. So if you can get this concept, you're doing well. So let's talk a bit about it. The profit maximization decision for a short-run competitive firm, it's the same decision as it is in the long run. What is it? How does a firm maximize its profit? Setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Let's go to the image. Here for a firm, a price taking firm. Where does it take its price from? It takes the price from the market. Let's go through step by step the transition from the short run equilibrium to the long run equilibrium. If we had this, say, D1 demand, and we have a um, short run supply curve. So in this case, where demand's D1, and here's our short run supply curve, what's going to be the market price? So I've got a series of questions here I want you to be able to answer from this image here. So maybe pause the video. You got this image up. See if you can answer these questions about this image. And this is what I expect students to be able to answer. Determine what the market price is and market output if demands D1. Well, over here, demands D1. Here's our supply. Well, that's a $7 price, right? And the market output is going to be 2000 So that's the first two answers. How much is the firm going to produce at that price? Well, let's see. The price is 7 A firm wants to produce where MR equals MC. So this profit maximizing firm. So this is the firm. This is the market. This firm is going to make 100 at a price of 7 So we've answered the second bullet point. Third bullet point. What concept do we need to know? Well, you need to know how a firm maximizes this profit, and that's going to be where MR equals MC. Hopefully that's familiar to you. In the short run, should this firm be open or closed? Well, what this is saying in the short run, is price bigger than AVC? That's the question. Is it bigger than or equal to AVC? Well, let's go over here and see. Let's see. Price is 7. AVC is 7. And hey they're equal yes the firm's open what concept do we need to know well this concept right here is price bigger than or equal to AVC is this firm making money or losing money so this is a comparison between price and ATC those are the two things you need to determine whether they're making money or losing money if price is bigger than ATC you're making money if price equals ATC you're breaking even if price is less than ATC you're losing money. Let's see over here in the, this image. The price is 7. ATC is well above that. It looks like at about 11. So definitely losing money in the short run. These are all short run questions. What impact does this have on number of firms? Well, if firms are losing money, what's going to happen as we move to the long run? Well, firms don't want to keep losing money in the long run, so they're going to exit. So there'll be some exit occur in this industry. Can you shade in the profits and losses? Can you shade in the profits and losses here? Let's see. Okay, we're losing money. We're producing 100. Go up. Go up to hit the the green AC curve. So it looks like this. Our average cost looks to be about 11, and our price is seven. So you're losing like four dollars every time you sell one. You're producing 100, so that's 400 dollars you're losing. So Yep, losing money. That's the area we're shading in there. All right, so now we got a short run just got down. Let's talk about a long run. Long run. Demand's D1. What's the market price? Well, demand D1, long run. We said firms are going to exit. Yes, firms are going to lose money. So in the long run, as firms exit, this supply curve is going to shift to the left. Shift to the left shift to the left as firms exit. What's going to 
What impact is that going to have on price? Well, price starts to go up. Yeah, it was seven as firms exit, and look, suppose we end up right here. Okay, the new short run supply curve. New short run supply curve. Okay, this is shifted to the left. And when does this thing stop shifting? Well, when do firms stop exiting? When they're breaking even. So they're going to, in the long run, here's our long run supply curve. Here's demand D1. That's where we are long run right there. So the price is 10. When the And so that answers our first question. What's the market price? Well, the market price here long run is 10. Market output, 1,500 is the market output. Okay, and what else is asked? Uh, what's how much does this firm produce at that price? So the price is ten. Go over. We hit the where MR equals MC. Yes, right here now. The firm's going to make one fifty long run, and the price is going to be ten. Long run price, yes, is um, ten. What concept? MR equals MC. Short run should this firm be open? Short run is the price bigger than ABC? Yes, ABC is below it. ABC is looks like a little more than seven. And the price is ten. Short run def short run open. Okay. Uh, short run with this firm be open. Long run. This should say because we're doing long run. Long run is this firm open. Well, long run. Let's see. We've got a price of 10, long run average cost is 10. Yep, they're breaking even. Okay, so is firm making money or losing money? No, they're breaking even. Okay, the profits are zero. What impacts is that? Well, when there are no more profits, firms are stable. They're not entering, they're not exiting. You can shade in profits lots. Well, profits are zero. A firm stays open and profits are zero. So all of this came from this one image. And I would encourage you to, to do the same thought process now for a demand being D2, short run, long run, and do the transition.